Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the twitching results from the prior video and seeing what improvements we can make. So if you watched that last video, which I'll include a link uh, right down below, um, you'll notice that we were able to solve the problem, but the way that we solved the problem is we put the motors on kind of in a loose fashion. And while that worked and there was no more twitching, a little bit of aggressive maneuvers, we started losing some screws, we almost could have lost the quad out of the sky, and believe it or not, that's not a good thing. So, after that I said, well, that's not going to fly, or <laughs> I guess it does fly, but it's not going to work for long. So, what can we do about it for a longer term solution? So, what I decided to do is I went to uh, the local Home Depot, and I picked up some small O-rings, rubber O-rings from, uh, from the plumbing department. I then decided to try putting those underneath the motors to create sort of a, a dampening between the vibration of the motor and the quad frame. I then tightened those bolts more, uh, hoping that the dampening would account for it. When I took that out to fly, at first I was really encouraged. Uh, about a minute into flight, I still hadn't heard any twitching, but then I started hearing some twitching after that. So it appears that it definitely helps to have those O-rings, just putting the O-rings between the motor and the frame with tight nuts was not sufficient. So what are we gonna to try today? What's next? So the plan for today is to take this same quad, take those same O-rings and install them on both the bottom and top part of the motor. Hopefully that'll give us a little bit more of isolation of the motor from vibrating through the frame and most likely into the, the flight controller. The second part of the plan was to get some Loctite. So the goal is to use Loctite on the nuts and the motor so we don't have to pull it quite as tight in causing as vi much vibration, but then hopefully still having a secure connection to the motor so the motor won't fall off. Lastly, the plan is to take the O-rings that we're using on the motors and also use them to isolate the vibration on the flight controller. Hopefully the combination of those two things would create enough isolation of the noise that we're not gonna have the twitching problem and we'll have a smoother flight. Let's take a look. All right, so the first step of this process, let's get these motors off yet again. All right, so you're able to see the, uh, the little O-rings that I mentioned, these little tiny things here. Um, I, these are the things that I bought from Home Depot. They're really, really small, smallest size that they sold. Um, I had already put them under, but I'm gonna, little, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a better job this time in properly isolating the noise. All right, so if you take a look at the motor right there, you can see there's a little bit of a space uh, where those O-rings sit. You can also see that they're down here on the bottom here. They kind of sit out on the side. Um, maybe these screws are long enough. I probably should change to some other ones, but let's give these a shot first. All right, so now that we got all the O-rings on the motors, let's give it a shot. Let's try to hover it over the corner. Um, I'm gonna make sure to do it for at least a minute this time though, because I noticed yesterday it didn't start right away. So hopefully there's no twitching. I have not changed the flight controller yet, but I wanna see if this is enough. I did not hear any twitching, so let's let's go outside and give this thing a shot. I'm being a little bit lazy, so I don't want to change the flight control if I don't have to. Um, but I kind of plan on seeing how this goes, see if it doesn't twitch at all. As long as it doesn't twitch, I'm good. If it starts acting up again, then I'll do step number two and try to put the O-rings on the flight controller. But let's go see outside if it makes any difference. All right, so it's really dark out. It's about 10 o'clock at night. Um, so I'm not sure I'll be able to see anything, but let's give it a shot.
can hear some vibration in there at least. No twitching yet though. Let's turn on this air mode. And let's... Let's do another one of those. This is what I was doing yesterday when, uh, after I did a few punch outs, if I just did a hover, it's when I noticed the issue. So far, so good. Feels pretty good. Alright, so I think that's good. No twitching in there at all. Um, I'm going to give the 4S battery a shot now. This is the 3S. Alright, let's see how 4S does. Oh, can hear more vibration. Oops, forgot I wasn't in air mode. There we go. <laughs> 4S is insane. That's like 70% throttle. Well, I think that's good. Did not make it this long yesterday. Alright, let's bring her in. <laughs> Alright, so I would say that's a success. Um, I got the Loctite on there. I'm going to let it dry overnight. And then uh, hopefully tomorrow we can go out and try it in the park, try some maneuvers, make sure it's actually holding. Hopefully it works this time. All right, so we're, we're back out here at the same spot we tried the other day, uh, trying to see if the new motor mounts help at all. We got the O-rings under, uh, under the motor and also under the bolt. Uh, they seemed to help in our hovering test yesterday. Um, hopefully it works well today and hopefully we don't lose any motors or any bolts like we did the other time. So let's see how it goes.
So I would say that was really, really successful. I was really happy with how today went. I was really happy with how yesterday went. Uh, during the flights, I didn't notice any of the issues I used to see. Uh, I didn't feel any twitching. Um, all the motors are on there nice and good. None of the bolts came loose at all. Everything's nice and tight. And I don't have any of the problems. So I feel like this has been a huge success. Um, at this point, I'd say problem solved. I didn't have to soft mount the, the flight controller. Just doing the motors was enough. Um, I'm really excited to get out there and fly this more and more and more. Um, it's actually a really big relief. You know, I was getting really frustrated that the second quad I built had been such a problem. Um, it was really driving me nuts and I feel like now I can go out there and really enjoy this thing. And I almost don't want to fly the 130 for a little bit just because this guy's so much fun. So hopefully I get to go out there, do a whole bunch more flying, share those flights with you and let's all have fun. Thanks a lot for watching. If you've enjoyed this at all, please consider liking this video. Please consider subscribing. I hope to bring a lot more content for you. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>